السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Esteemed seekers of faith, on this blessed journey of truth, I Zara Rafiq is honored to share with you the profound significance of fasting in Shabbat. Hadith number 2758 from Sahih Muslim says, Abu Ayyub al Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him, reported Allah's Messenger saying, Whoever fasts in Ramadan, Whoever fasts in Ramadan and then follows it with six days of fast in Shawwal, it is as if he had fasted the entire year. Which states that fasting in Ramadan and then fasting for six more days in Shawwal is as if you have fasted for the entire year. But how? Well, the Islamic scholars explain that Allah's reward of multiplying good deeds by ten extends to fasting, making one month of Ramadan equivalent to ten months of fasting. Adding six days of Shawwal completes the cycle, yielding a reward of fasting the entire year. SubhanAllah, that's an amazing reward from Allah. Now, here I want to answer a really, really important question. It is, can you fast on any days of Shawwal? Well, the answer to that is, yes, of course you can fast on any days of Shawwal, except for the first day itself, that is the evil fit. So, that is because we, the Muslims, are prohibited from fasting on any of the Eids, the evil fit and the evil adha. This prohibition is based on the hadith narrated by Aisha radiallahu anha, where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that don't fast on any of the Eids, whether it is Eid al-Adha or it is Eid al-Fitr. The rationale behind this can be understood by another hadith narrated by Abu Ubaid, where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that fasting on Eid al-Fitr is prohibited because it is the day when one breaks his fast. And fasting on Eid al-Adha is prohibited because it is the day when one eats the meat of sacrifices. At the end, I would only say that truly Allah is the most compassionate of the compassionate and He is the most merciful of the merciful. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum to the magnanimous sisters. Myself, Sufi Salif, have seven children and today I'm going to shed light on the blessed month of Shabbat. Like a precious gem, Shabbat sparkled with its own unique radiance, offering us a path to continue our spiritual journey beyond the blessed month of Ramadan. In Ramadan, we fasted with hearts full of devotion, minds focused on worship, and souls yearning for closeness to our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah, how beautiful the is. Now, in Shabbat, we are called to maintain the spiritual fervor by fasting six days, a practice that brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and purifies your heart. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man sama Ramadan summa atba'aha aw kama qal alayhi salatu wa salam. He said that whoever fasts in Ramadan and follows up Ramadan with six days from Shawwal, it is as if he has fasted the entire year. These six days are like the petals of a flower, each one unfolding the fragrance of faith and the beauty of obedience. Shawwal is a month of renewal. It is a time to water the seeds of goodness planted in Ramadan so that they may bloom and bear the fruit in, in the entire year. Let's embrace the month of Shawwal with open hearts and steadfast minds, yeah. eager to continue the journey of self-improvement and spiritual growth. May Allah accept all our good deeds and may He forgive all our sins. Thank you. Shawwal is the 10th month of the Islamic calendar following the holy month of Ramadan. It is loved worldwide because the first day of Shawwal is celebrated as a feast, Eid al-Fitr. Though the first day is celebrated as a feast, Muslims keep a six days fast just after Eid al-Fitr. It is believed that keeping a six days fast just after Eid al-Fitr increases the blessings of Ramadan as well as makes up for any unintentional deficiency left during Ramadan. And do you know that there is a hadith according to Sahih Muslims narrated by al ayyub al-Ansari that states that Prophet Muhammad wasalam, said that whoever fasts in the month of Ramadan and then follows it by the fasting of six days in Shawwal, uh, it is as if he has uh, fasted the entire year. SubhanAllah. Now, whatever I have talked till now states that Shawwal is a very significant month. But why? For several reasons in the Islamic history as well as the Islamic culture. To start with, Eid al Fitr takes place on the first of Shawwal. Moreover, the Battle of Uhud began on the seventh of Shawwal, that is the second most important war in the Islamic history. 
Likewise, Aisha the Allah Ta'ala Anhu married the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the month of Shawwal, making this month, this Islamic month, the best for marriage. And do you know that Imam al-Bukhari was born on 13th of Shawwal? For those who don't know, he was the Islamic Persian scholar which compiled a collection of hadiths known as Sahih al-Bukhari which is the most authentic hadith to date. Consequently, you can understand the significance of Shawwal by the fact that fasting for just six days in Shawwal, just six days, is equal to the entire year, fasting of the entire year. SubhanAllah. May this month bring us immense peace and happiness. But I have a point over here. What was the purpose of this speech? The purpose of this speech was nothing but to make you aware of the significance of the importance of the month of Shawwal and as well as to make you sure that the month of Shawwal is not only for celebration but also for devoting oneself to the service of Allah. Make, make the most of it by fasting for six days in Shawwal and if possible perform Umrah as well. My sincere thanks to you for listening. Barakallah.